Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is about AWS Lambda and how you can use it and write your code in C Sharp for the AWS Lambda. Now we thank you for stopping by and we would like to ask you to check out our own tutorials xl.com course on AWS Lambda. You can find the link in the description below. It will take you there and you can check out the course in the AWS Lambda which contains like a whole lot of content about AWS Lambda. Now, first thing first, you need to have extension or make sure that the extension for AWS is installed. So you need to go to extensions from tools and uh, tools and then search for AWS toolkit. Now after you have this toolkit installed if we go to new project if you notice in the side we will have the AWS Lambda and from here we can select like the type of a project we want which is AWS Lambda project with tests. Now what we want to do, we want to create this project, you can give it the proper name, select your framework, etc. So now, notice with us that this will allow you to select an empty model or empty function or use a pre-built example from AWS Lambda. Now I advise you to go out and like check out these examples on yourself it contains some really nice information especially for those who wanna like work with AWS uh, cloud services whole a lot so this is can be a really nice point entry point and will teach you a lot now we will go with an empty function and we are gonna hit finish now Visual Studio is creating the project for us Okay, so now the project has been created successfully. Now for your information that the Lambda function is actually running .NET Core. And now let's explore the structure of this project. Now the first project is the main entry point for our own application. It is where we will be placing our logic, it is where we will be placing our classes, calling, packages, etc. All of it will be right here. For the other part, the AWS Lambda.tests, it contains the tests for the function that we will be writing. Now if we go much deeper, the dependency tab contains like the needed dependency for the lambda project the AWS lambda tools default the JSON is actually containing some configuration for our own AWS uh, lambda function like uh, the configuration release mode etc memory size uh, you can like edit it via GUI or edit it from here. Now the function.cs is actually the place that contains our own code. Here we will be writing our own code. Uh, here we will be like uh, placing our application logic. From here this is the entry point for our own lambda function. Now notice that this attribute right here is present and for the most of the time it will be right here and it's enabled to uh, the lambda function input JSON input to be converted into a .NET class. If we come down here, here is your function and it's called the like the function handler. It takes any kind of parameter that you would like to receive 
and also it take the context now remember that you are not like required to just use string you can use any kind of classes whatever you find suitable now the context should contain some information about your uh, about the current execution of the function like uh, the request ID the function name the function version some like information about uh, the function uh, currently executing and if you see the client context like we can have some information about the client that is running the application or hosting it now now the readme.markdown is just only a small uh, readme markdown file contains some useful information for you to use the AWS Lambda project now inside the test we have this test right here now this test is using XUnit for its unit testing and this is like the test uh, function you can add later on uh, different test functions and uh, right here we are doing some assertion that we are having the hello world converted to our case just like the function that we have right here so we have talked about the AWS Lambda function uh, the project structure and we have seen that the function handler is the entry point for the uh, Lambda function and it will contain our own logic now what we want to do when I come down here add a new class and I'm calling this a student now it will not only contain two properties so we have the student class with the email and the name property now what I want I want to actually pass the object of type student to the input now you for sure you can change the name of the parameter but I'm leaving it like this for this demo now what I want to do I want to do the following I will use string interpolation to get the data that is sent to me and give like uh, the email uh, oh I'm sorry actually the name right here and the email so as you can see it's really simple we'll be sending an object of type JSON of type student right here and we should see this string retained for us with the name and the email now before we actually see how we can publish and work with our own AWS Lambda function let's head over to the function test and we need to do some modification so right here we need to pass the object of type student so let's create one and I'll just give it some dummy email and we will be passing this object right here and uh, the result of this test should be as following so let's sit back here so we should see uh, the names like this not uppercase we actually should say result just a small naming for convention now if we head over to the test explorer and run the selected test uh, 
we should see uh, I'm sorry we should see that the test should be successful if we provided the right data and as you see it has passed successfully now what we want to do when I actually send our work to the cloud and have it host inside the AWS cloud and so later on we can run it call it etc to do so we will right click like this and we will select the publish to AWS lambda option now from here we need to specify the name of the function so I'm gonna call it tutorials XL now you can select the release mode or debug mode you can change like whatever data you find suitable right here you can select the region that you find suitable to have uh, the lambda function it is and we're gonna leave it by default and we should hit next now what we need to do we need to provide it with the uh, like an IAM rule to have like uh, the need permissions to be executed to retain data whatever you need now I will be just like selecting a ready-made role that I have created and again you are free to go to your uh, IAM provider and like uh, add whatever rule you find suitable now you can select the amount of memory you would like to use uh, I can change it as I wish I can lower the timeout etc and some other settings that if you need to change now to have it in the cloud we just simply hit upload now it by itself like it will uh, uh, build the project upload it send it to the cloud and at the end it will show us this now right here we can actually test our own function and see if we can get the proper response now I will be passing a JSON like the same data that we have placed so I need to pass in an email so I'm gonna say test at email now we select to add the name now we invoke the lambda function that we have created and if you notice we are getting back the same data that we have placed to be uh, like uh, retained back for us so if you notice at the beginning it will take some time to execute uh, your lambda function but uh, like this is the first time only uh, but later on when, like whenever you invoke it you should be like getting back the data much faster now right here you can see the log output you can see like what has like uh, much of duration that it is needed how much memory is available how, is, how much memory is used etc and also you can like edit the configuration if you would like to from here and you have like some really decent uh, addition from the AWS L toolkit extension to Visual Studio 
that you can use to like invoke data, change data, upload a new source, etc. So that was the AWS Lambda tutorial in C Sharp and again we advise you to go ahead and check out the full course on the AWS Lambda inside our own tutorialsxl.com website. You can find the link below. Thank you for watching.